Atmos. Mom, show the MO model tree. Mom, show the MO model of a specific MO. Mom, show the MO model details of a specific MO. Al, show the alarms in the baseband. Esti, show the state of a specific MO. CVMS, create a new configuration file for the baseband. Infxrg, show the inventory of the baseband, including hardware and software versions. Ping, test the connectivity between the baseband and another device. Fui, show the device status of the baseband. Configuration allowed, enable or disable the configuration of the baseband. Tie-in version, show the software version of the baseband. Restart, restart the baseband or a specific MO. Upgrade, upgrade the software of the baseband or a specific MO. These are some of the basic commands for Ericsson Baseband. You can find more information and examples on the Mose Hell, Ericsson RBS 6 X, Kissy Face, Page Superscript 3 or the Mose Hell commands, carrot 4 carrot document. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. 01-900-2100 RU12 900 1800 2100 RU 2212 800 900 1800 2100 RU 2217 800 900 1800 2100 RU 2219 800 900 1800 2100 RU 2238 800 and amp 900 RU 2279 800 and amp, 900. RU 4499, 1800 and amp, 2100. RU 4489, 1800 and amp, 2100. RU 4428, 1800, 2100. RU 6626, 800 and amp, 900 or 1800 and amp, 2100. RU 8863, 5G working 2.6, after RRU, number, B8 equals 900, B20 equals 800, B1 equals 2100, B3 equals 1800. 6150 cabinet. The difference between Ericsson baseband BB6630 and BB6631 is that the BB6630 is a single mode baseband that supports only LTE while the BB6631 is a multi-mode baseband that supports GSM, WCDMA, LTE, and 5G Superscript 3. The BB6631 is also more compact and energy efficient than the BB6630 Superscript 2. Some of the main features of the BB6630 are Supports up to 12 LTE carriers Supports up to 6,000 connected users Supports up to 3 cell carriers per sector. Supports 4x4 4 4 MIMO and 256 QAM. Supports carrier aggregation and licensed assisted access. Supports massive IoT with NBOT and CAT M1. Supports up to 720W output power. Weighs about 40 kilograms. Some of the main features of the BB6631 are Supports up to 24 carriers across GSM, WCDMA, LTE, and 5G. Supports up to 9,600 connected users. Supports up to 6 cell carriers per sector. Supports 8x8 MIMO and 1024 QAM. Supports carrier aggregation and dynamic spectrum sharing. Supports massive IoT with NBOT and CAT M1. Supports up to 600 W output power. Weighs about 25 kilograms. The Ericsson RBS 6000 series is a versatile and cost-effective base station series that supports various wireless technologies, such as Wi-Fi, CDMA, LTE, GSM slash Edge, and WCDMA slash HSPA Superscript 1 Superscript 2. It is also backward compatible with the RBS 2000 and 3000 series Superscript 3. The RBS 6000 series consists of different types of base stations, such as outdoor, indoor, 
and open rack configurations that can be deployed flexibly and efficiently to meet different network needs superscript 1. The RBS 6000 series features intelligent power and management systems, ensuring optimal operation, minimal maintenance, and significantly lower power consumption superscript 1. The RBS 6000 series is designed to enhance network capabilities and support a range of mobile services superscript 3. According to the Baseband 6630 Manual Superscript 1, the Baseband unit has 15 common public radio interface, CPRI, ports that can be used to connect to radio units such as AIR 3239. The CPRI ports are labeled A to Q on the front panel of the Baseband unit. The optical cable type for the CPRI ports is LC Duplex Single Mode Fiber. To connect the baseband 6630 to the AIR 3239, you need to use one of the CPRI ports on the baseband unit and the CPRI port on the radio unit. The CPRI port on the AIR 3239 is located on the bottom side of the unit and is also an LC duplex single mode fiber connector. You can use any standard optical cable that matches the specifications of the CPRI ports. The following steps describe how to connect the baseband 6630 to the AIR 3239 using a fiber cable. Remove the dust caps from the CPRI port on the baseband unit and the radio unit. Connect one end of the fiber cable to the CPRI port on the baseband unit and the other end to the CPRI port on the radio unit. Make sure the connectors are properly aligned and locked in place. Verify that the connection is successful by checking the LED indicators on the baseband unit and the radio unit. The LED indicators should show green or yellow depending on the CPRI link status. I hope this information is helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Ericsson Baseband 6630 and 6620 are two models of baseband units that are part of the Ericsson radio system. They provide switching, traffic management, timing, baseband processing, and radio interfacing functions for various radio access technologies, such as LTE, WCDMA, GSM, and 5G NR Superscript 1. They also support features such as Ericsson Spectrum Sharing, Massive IoT, NR Upper Layer VRAN, Elastic RAN, Mixed Mode, and Backhaul Cascading Superscript 2. Some of the main differences between the two models are Baseband 6630 has a higher capacity than Baseband 6620. It can support up to 8,000 connected users, 960 MHz antenna bandwidth, and 1152 channel elements for LTE. Baseband 6620 can support up to 2,000 connected users, 480 MHz antenna bandwidth, and 576 channel elements for LTE Superscript 1. Baseband 6630 has a larger size and weight than Baseband 6620. It has a height of 31 mm, a width of 350 mm, a depth of 280 mm, and a weight of 4 kg. Baseband 6620 has a height of 31 mm, a width of 175 mm, a depth of 280 mm, and a weight of 2 kg superscript 1. Baseband 6630 has more ports than Baseband 6620. It has 12 CPRI ports, 4 SFP Plus ports, 2 RJ45 ports, and 2 USB ports. Baseband 6620 has 6 CPRI ports, 2 SFP Plus ports, 2 RJ45 ports, and 2 USB ports Superscript 3. Ericsson Baseband Configuration is a software tool that allows you to configure and manage the baseband units, BBUs, in your Ericsson radio system network. It supports different types of BBUs, such as Baseband 5216, Baseband 5212, 
Baseband 6648, and Baseband 6630 Superscript 1. With Ericsson Baseband configuration, you can perform tasks such as creating and modifying baseband configurations, such as radio access technologies, frequency bands, carrier aggregation, and MIMO settings. Applying and verifying baseband configurations on one or multiple BBUs. Monitoring and troubleshooting baseband performance and status. Exporting and importing baseband configurations for backup and restore purposes. Ericsson Baseband 5216 and 5212 are two models of baseband units that are part of the Ericsson radio system. They provide switching, traffic management, timing, baseband processing, and radio interfacing functions for various radio access technologies, such as LTE, WCDMA, and GSM Superscript 1. They also support 5G NR and can be used in different network configurations, such as main remote, baseband hodling, and centralized RAN Superscript 2. Some of the main features and differences between the two models are Baseband 5216 has a higher capacity than Baseband 5212. It can support up to 8,000 connected users, 960 MHz antenna bandwidth, and 1152 channel elements for LTE. Baseband 5212 can support up to 2,000 connected users, 480 MHz antenna bandwidth, and 576 channel elements for LTE Superscript 1. Baseband 5216 has a larger size and weight than Baseband 5212. It has a height of 31 mm, a width of 350 mm, a depth of 280 mm, and a weight of 4 kg. Baseband 5212 has a height of 31 mm, a width of 175 mm, a depth of 280 mm, and a weight of 2 kg superscript 1. Baseband 5216 has more ports than Baseband 5212. It has 12 CPRI ports, 4 SFP Plus ports, 2 RJ45 ports, and 2 USB ports. Baseband 5212 has 6 CPRI ports, 2 SFP Plus ports, 2 RJ45 ports, and 2 USB ports Superscript 3. You can find more information on the Ericsson Baseband 5216 and 5212, here, carat 1 carat. I hope this helps. The Enclosure 6150 Cabinet and the BTS 6102 are both site solutions for Ericsson Radio System, but they have some differences in their features and functions. Here are some of the main differences. The Enclosure 6150 Cabinet is a multi-purpose site cabinet that can support various types of equipment, such as baseband, transport, and third-party vendors. It also provides a power system and battery backup. The BTS 6102 is a macro base station that is designed for outdoor use and delivers cost-effective coverage and capacity. It is used as a main remote configuration with remote radio units, RUs, Superscript 1 Superscript 2. The Enclosure 6150 cabinet has a climate system that keeps the cabinet temperature within specified limits. It can be installed in different environments, such as rooftops, walls, or poles. The BTS 6102 has a weather-tight cabinet and integrated cooling system that protect the electronics and reduce power consumption. It can be installed on the ground level or on rooftop Superscript 1 Superscript 2. The Enclosure 6150 cabinet can support up to 20 kilowatts of heat dissipation and up to 16 RUs of equipment space. It can also support up to 16 battery strings for backup power. The BTS 6102 can support up to 2x40W or 4x40W of transmitter power output and up to 4 RUs of equipment space. It can also support up to 4 battery strings for backup power Superscript 1 Superscript 3. I hope this helps you understand the difference between the Enclosure 6150 cabinet and the BTS 6102.